What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about uh, chronological age versus biological age. Okay, so before I get started, uh, take a second to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot, helps to grow the channel, blah, 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 blah. And of course I appreciate it. Okay, so let's dive in. Now, before I get started, I'm wearing a gold medal, okay, that I won uh, over this weekend, this past weekend at a uh, judo competition. And this is the first time I, I managed to place first in, in a competition, <clears throat> in a judo competition. And uh, you see last year I managed to place third and then second. And this year, this is the first competition of the season I managed to uh, place first. So I'm really happy about this. So I wanted to uh, uh, well, wear this and, and talk about it a little bit because it has to do with chronological age versus biological age, okay? So I'm 39 years old for those of you guys who don't know. And uh, I only started judo about uh, maybe two and a half years ago. So I'm a blue belt. And I think I'm getting closer to my brown belt because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to do well in competition and I'm, I'm also um, getting better and smoother at... Uh, uh, my techniques, you know, in, in sparring and in, in, in just, you know, uh, execution in uh, nage, nagikomi. Nagikomi means uh, throwing, uh, essentially throwing drills. Anyways, um, so here's the thing. This competition this weekend, I participated and I was, uh, I'm 39, so I could have uh, tried to uh, participate in uh, the master's division, right? I'm 39, so it's not even Masters 1 for me. It would be like Masters 2. But I decided, you know, I, I did all my dieting and everything like that. So I, I'm at my weight, which is minus 73 kilograms. <clears throat> and I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to go with... Uh, because w what tends to happen when you go uh, into Masters division is that there's not enough people. And then they group you up with like the, uh, the minus 81s, the minus uh, 90s, uh, you know. So... Guys are heavier, you know, and and I just I rather go up against a younger a younger guy in his twenties, uh, same weight, okay, then and you know ha have him like uh, whoop my ass, right, <clears throat> and out cardio me and outclass me, then um, going against a heavier guy with uh, about the same amount of experience or more, and then he falls on my leg and I bust up my knee. And for now, it's it's going good. So anyways, I managed to, to win this category. So I'm 39, I went up against these guys who are like in their early 20s and I, and I whooped them and I took the division. So I'm really happy about that. And so this brings me to what uh, the subject of this video, which is um, chronological age versus biological age, okay? Chronological age is when, well, it starts the day you're born and you know, every birthday that, um, that you uh, that you accumulate, you know, that's your age, right? But biological age is, is a different story. We all age at a different rate depending on genetics and we're finding out now in science depending on the conditions of your life and the activities, okay? And the activities, not just physical activities, but the way you think and shit. And of course, what you eat, okay? So it affects your genes a lot. I guess I'm somewhat lucky uh, that I have, you know, I, you know, people tend to say that Asian people age, um, how do you say it, age, uh, age slower, right? They tend to stay young longer. So, uh, you know, I guess there's a part of there that's genetics, but genetics, it's not set in stone. It also depends on uh, the genetic expression and how your genes will express itself, like it, it's, it changes everything. And it varies greatly, you know. You could have the same genetics as, uh, as um, two people could have the same genetics, but they could be completely different in the way they uh, they look and the way they, they go about things, you know. Um, simply because the genes are very flexible. There's a range. Anyways, all that to say that I think I was lucky um, to be born with a certain um, certain genetics, okay. But at the same time, I think it has a lot to do with how I lived my life. Okay, so I done a lot. I did a lot of exercise. I ate right, and but not all the time though. When I was a kid, up until the age of twenty, I did a lot, a lot of exercise, a lot of sports and shit like that. And my nutrition wasn't all that good because my parents didn't know any better, right? It wasn't optimum, but I still I was I was really healthy. Then in my twenties and thirties, I, I essentially partied and just you know like 
did absolutely nothing. I started again at 30 years old and 30 until 39 now, I've been working out consistently a lot and, and you know, so I think that helps a lot with, uh, you know, staying young and stuff like that. So I think that chronologically, uh, you might be a certain age. Like in my case, I'm 39 chronologically, but to be honest, I feel as though I haven't even peaked yet, you know, like physically. Okay, so biologically, I'm not 39. I'm probably like um, 30 years old, biologically, okay? And maybe even 25, man. You know, I mean, just look at me, I'm not, you know? If you look at my face, I'm starting to wrinkle up a little bit here and there. Um, but other than that, hmm, you know, I still feel really good, man. I get the impression that I'm gonna be like this for a long fucking time, you know? And with everything that I'm learning now in terms of uh, epigenetics, which is uh, basically um, how your genes are affected by conditions of life. And, you know, so what you eat, what you think, how you sleep, you know, a lot of stuff. You know, how, which genes will turn on, turn off, which causes different types of expressions and blah, blah, blah. And in the genetic world, 1% change is fucking huge. Like, did you guys know that uh, in, uh, like humans and mice have 99% the same fucking DNA? right but that just that one percent like we're humans and they're fucking mice right so what i'm saying is that despite your chronological age okay whether you feel like your age or older or or not you know um i think that for all you guys who are still uh uh who, who are about my age or older and or even if you're younger and stuff like that and you're feeling like you could fix all that okay like the damage that you've done uh, accumulated up until now in terms of um, you know how your face uh, wrinkled up and stuff like that, I don't, I, I don't, I don't see that. I think you could you could fix that to a certain degree, right? But I think your body and 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 you could you could limit the damage and um, you could slow the aging process by doing things right. Now, what do I mean by doing things right? Well, I mean by eating by uh by exercising by resting and now you know like that I, now that i discovered reading this book by the way that i wanted to show you guys it's called inheritance right and it's written here how our genes change our lives and our lives change our genes and so by the way you think and by the way you feel and how you go about it you know the the inner game the mental game okay so i'll put a link down below for this book it's super interesting it changed my perspective on um you know, what, what's possible in terms of uh, chronological age, biological age, how, how you could express your genes, how you could try to turn things on and off uh, by, you know, having healthier habits. Uh, not only um, physical, physical activities that you do, but also the way you think and, and so on. So, now what was my point again? So it's possible, guys. That's it. So even if you're if you're old and busted, you can you you can start fixing shit, and it's not gonna get better on its own. You have to put in the effort, right? But you can start fixing shit by starting to um, fix up the way you eat, uh, the way you exercise, the way you sleep, and of course the way you think and your environment and everything. You know, you have to keep things uh, positive and and all that. You know, um, and of course you see like I think. I mean, just because I'm this way doesn't mean that everybody is this way, but I think there's something here, guys. I mean, you're, you, just because you're, you know, you're a certain age, it shouldn't, it shouldn't like fuck with you to the point where like, oh, I'm 40 years old and oh, I can't, I can't be doing this shit. No, no, no. Don't be going like, oh, I'm all busted up, you know, because it comes down to, to, your, to your lifestyle, okay, your life habits, and then, and then how, how much damage you accumulated. So if you're accumulating damage, you, you gotta start to fix what is fixable, okay? Improve what you can improve on, and then after that, keep going forward, and, and you can slow down this aging process and stuff like that. And um, so that's what I, I wanted to say in this video. And look, guys, I'm 39, and I, I whoop these 20-year-olds, man, so, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. I want to share that with you. It's possible, and, like, if you look at my shape, I'll just step back a little bit here, and I'll show you how I look, you know, because, this channel is called OG Fitness, right? So, check it out, you see? Look, man, it's all good, you know? Like, that. 
so you know I mean it's um it's doable I, I really think it's doable I think I'll, I'll be in good shape for hopefully the until the day I die but at least for a very very fucking long time all right so this video is going on a little bit too long I'll put down the link below uh, for the book this book here it's a great book I think that'll change uh, your life and also with books is that I what I do now is that the offer has to be, it has to be a credible source. So if you look at this right here, uh, Sharon Molum, MD, PhD, you know, um, research scientist, like world renowned, you know, so the, it's legit. It's, it's, uh, the, the source is very good. So I'll put a link, you guys check out the book. And if you, ha if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, it helps me to grow. And as I grow, I can make better quality videos. And what I'll do is that the reason why I haven't, by the way, put up a, a video of me fighting, by the way, I filmed it, so you know, I'll put, uh, I'll put that up soon enough, is that I, I kind of suck, I'm new at this, so I kind of suck at video editing. So I'm, I'm trying to learn, and as soon as I get that going, you know, uh, like the videos are gonna be better quality, I have a logo, a music, like a little bit of music, intro music and shit like that. And it'll be, it'll be nicer and I'll be able to, uh, you know, move my camera around and film myself training and stuff like that. I do a lot of shit on, I post a lot more videos and shit like that of myself and, and, uh, and stuff that I do for training and stuff like that on Instagram. Um, but uh, as I get better, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put all these videos up for you guys so you can see. Uh, but one thing that I, I think is more important is to, uh, for me to... To, to spread like good ideas and, and, and it's the content that I think is important for, for you guys, right? Uh, like I'm not here really to entertain you to that point. I'm not like, uh, it's not me, I'm not a fucking clown, you know? Like uh, I'm gonna go back to what's his name, Master Wong. I criticize him in, in some of his, uh, in, in other videos where uh, you see the guy, he's all about entertainment, you know? So it's all flashy and shit and um, I'm not about that flash, man. Like I, I don't mind making things nice and and, uh, and professional and you know a little bit more appealing to, to get more views and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's the content that's important. It's what's coming out of my mouth and the ideas behind it and the intention behind it, okay? So I'm not here to, to like, my main goal is not to entertain you guys. It's to bring some kind of value and to, to educate and to share ideas about fitness and, and martial arts for older guys. And uh, that's what I'm all about, but good ideas, not like fucking bullshit. Like there's so much bullshit on the internet that if you're, you know, I, I don't wanna be one of those guys, you know, there's enough of that already. We don't need more of that kind of shit. And um, you know, entertainment, I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit overrated. Like I'll, I'll try to be somewhat entertaining uh, because of the information and maybe just because uh, I cuss a little bit too much maybe for, for a guy who practices judo and has values. But uh, you know, like I, I'm not here to, to be a clown and make you guys laugh and shit. I'm here to like talk about some um, real and good ideas on fitness and martial arts for older guys so that we can continue practicing and uh, you know, until the day we die, uh, essentially. So that's it guys, sorry for this long rant here, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.